Hi, this is Ashwin from Circuit Digest and in this video I'll show you how you can use a simple multimeter like this one to check for the collector, emitter and base pins of your transistor. So to do that make sure the black probe of your multimeter is connected to the COM and your red probe is connected in voltage mode. Then set your multimeter in diode mode. You can identify diode mode using the diode symbol over here. Then take your probes and start probing the first two leads of your transistor. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to this as N, negative, black, and this as P, positive, red. So let's keep the N on first pin and P on second pin and check if we are getting any voltage drop. So we are getting a voltage drop here and the voltage drop is 801 millivolt. So first pin is N, second pin is P and the voltage drop is 801. Let's write it down. It was N. P and the voltage drop was 801. Now we have to probe the second two pins. We know that the second pin was P. So we'll place the P here and N here and we get the voltage drop as 8799. So let's write that down. We got an N here and we got 799 okay now we already know that this is an npn transistor and we know the voltage drop between the first two pins and the second two pins we have to figure out which one is the emitter base and the collector now it is always easy to identify the base which is the p type so since this is the p type pin this will be the base now we have to just figure out which is the emitter and which is the collector so we know that this is the base because it is in the middle now the pin with the highest voltage drop will be the emitter now the first pin and the second pin had the highest voltage drop so the first pin will be the emitter always remember this the pin with the highest voltage drop will be the emitter now as we know the first one is emitter second one is base obviously the third one is going to be collector so this is how you can find if a transistor is working if it is an npn or pnp transistor and you can also tell if the transistors are emitter base and collector pins so that is it guys this is how you can use a simple multimeter to check for all this on a transistor thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye